What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a review on this little guy which is the Canix XD Mini Display Port to HDMI Converter. I bought this originally for one reason only and that is to be able to run my Xbox 360 on the iMac you see behind me. Uh, ever since I bought my Xbox One it just never got turned on downstairs so I figured if I plugged it in up here uh, it might see a bit more use as I wasn't quite ready to let it go. So yep, yeah, if you just hang tight, what we'll do is we'll get it all hooked up to the iMac and uh, we'll do sort of a step by step on what to expect when you first plug it in. Okay, so we've got it all hooked up, it's dead simple, everything you need is in the box, you get one HDMI cable, one mini display port cable, um, and one 5 volt DC power supply to be able to power the device. It is an active converter so it will require that to be operational. There's no software installation required, it's literally a plug and play. Just bear in mind if you are looking to purchase one of these that they are only compatible with a late 2009 and mid 2010 models I believe, um, and they're not compatible with the new Thunderbolt display. Um, so yeah, literally we go from the mini display port uh, on the back of the iMac to the Canon 6D. From there you'll have one HDMI in and obviously the power port to be able to put your 5 volt DC power supply into. Um, and then you shouldn't need anything else, it should work straight off the bat. Uh, so what we do is we'll power the 360 up. Command F2. There we have it. Like I said, absolutely dead simple, nothing to it. Um, from there you're in it, so you're literally playing your 360 from then on out. And you can go back just by playing Command F2. And we go back in. So you can just slowly flick between your operating system and obviously your Xbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a bit of GTA 5, show you a bit what it's like on the screen, um, and yeah. Okay then guys, so we're back, as you can see, the screen, it looks pretty decent. Uh, it's a little bit grainy, but like I said, if you've got 10 minutes of playing, you really don't notice it. Um, for what it does, it does it really well, so for me, definitely worth the money. Um, everything works real smooth, like I said, there's no sort of twitchiness or jumping, it carries the signal really well. Yeah, really can't I can't argue with it. And you, like I said, you don't just have to use this on a 360. You can use this on anything that requires a HDMI. Um, a lot of people use them on all of that. It's terrible. Uh, a lot of people use them on DVD players, Blu-ray players. Uh, but like I said, you will only get 720p out of it, so don't expect to use uh, 1080p. Oh, saved. Now I'm not going to lie guys, I'm a pretty tragic gamer when it comes to stuff. Especially on camera, it's, it's even worse on camera. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a good gamer off camera, but on camera it's definitely worse. Now I'll just sound like I'm making excuses for myself. All we do is we go down to the airport. Go to Chopper. It looks like some people down the airport as well. So we're going to get shot. There is dog eat dog in this game. Can we get up the ramp? Can we get up the ramp? Let's go for it. Oh yes! What an entry. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, come on. All the way over. That's it. <laughs> oh, yes, completed as well. Check it out. I think what we'll do, we'll go for the time. Let's take the time. I know it sounds really lame. Obviously, you've got the uh, luxury of the fire jet and all the other sort of passenger jets, but the time really is my favourite. It's just such a beast. Oh, 
Yeah, let's take off very professionally. Oh yes, smooth as. Barrow. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Check that out. Fuck it, still a jet. There we go. Mission Impossible style. I'm really not going to have much time to do anything as they've already seen me. What am I doing? There we go. Oh, it's been so long since I played this game. Oh. Stay down. There we go. Oh, this is not going to work out well for me. Oh shit! Alright, that didn't fucking work. Should have seen that coming. To the next one. Mark, 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 mark. Right, let's go, 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 go. That's strange. Normally you get sh missile that. Oh, I'll turn your mic off me. I've got to say, this so far has been the smoothest robbery of a jet I've had. I see the objectors down there trying to follow me. You cannot see me. And we clear. Check that out. Oh, Only in GTA. It's 
to find some other players. Okay guys, sorry about that, my camera actually died and I was playing for about 10 minutes like a moron without realising. Um, and just for the record, the guy did kill me, I didn't kill him and I didn't get a single shot because I suck. Um, but hey ho. Um, if you did like the video however, please like, comment and subscribe, like I said it helped me a bunch. Uh, brand new channel so really could do with that. Um, and also in the next episode, I'll be unboxing the Sabretooth 990 FX Revision 2 motherboard, uh, which I'm going to be using in my own personal build. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. So yeah, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.